I am so excited because I'm going to teach you how to create a chart in our Excel Basics 101 Part 5. And then we're going to take that chart and I'm going to show you how to put it into a Word document as, a, um, as an object. So that way you can scale it and move it like a picture without it ruining all of your data or scaling your data. Uh, in an inappropriate way. So let's go ahead and get going right away. I'm going to click off, I mean I'm just going to click somewhere in my blank screen here on my uh, on an empty cell and I'm going to go up to insert. Now with charts folks go ahead and click on this first one, the first bar here. It takes lots of practice and willingness to experiment with the charts to figure out what you want. The biggest factor is trying to figure out what do you want to show your audience. Um, so oftentimes that, that requires a lot of trial and error, at least it does for me. I don't consider myself an expert in charts. Um, I really would find I'm a beginner in charts, but I'll just at least show you some basics. So with your chart here and these bars around it, you can make it bigger or smaller. And I'm going to go up here. You have a chart tools pop-up ribbon, design layout format. I'm going to go to select data. Now right here, if any of you have stuff that pops up in these middle parts, just click on it and click remove. Okay, so you have a blank slate. Then click add. Series name, in this case, we're going to type average points. Series value, you're going to delete this. You, it's important to delete it to everybody. And in my case, I'm going to scroll down because we're going to use these numbers here, the averages. And I'm going to click, hold, and drag just the numbers I want on the chart. And you see the chart is forming here. I'm going to say OK. But 1, 2, 3, 4 means nothing to us. So we click on Edit. And we go up here and we click on the titles. Keyboard over to Letters. Now you see our titles appear. We say OK. We say OK. And we scroll up. Voila, we have our chart. Now let's do some basic formatting. Anybody can use these wonderful design templates. They're really cool. We can always change our layout, folks. You can change your title. You can add um, a title over here to say points. You can play with all of these. I'm not going to cover them today. Under Format, with our mouse highlighting the whole thing, we're going to choose a Shape Fill for the background. And I'm going to choose kind of a light color. Uh, this Maybe we'll do this medium, actually. Let's do this medium color. And I'm going to change the outline to a nice dark outline. And I'm going to change the weight of that line so it's really obvious so we can see it. And then I'm going to click right in here and I'm going to add a light fill. And I'm going to add an outline. And I'm going to change the weight of said outline so it's more obvious so you all can see it. And then if you click right here on the middle line, then you can change the outlines there as well. I love some of the design features to make your items more presentable. And you see with my mouse, I just clicked on, let me click off. You, you can change these as well, or you could also individualize them. I would prefer just to make them one color. And I'm going to give them a, a white outline just to kind of make it obvious to you to see that we can really get customized with these. You can also go into each individual item and change the font, change the font colorings, change the font size. You can do amazing things with this. So you can see, look at that, amazing, you've all created your first chart. Now how do we get this chart into a Word document without it messing up all the formatting and the layout? You right click and choose copy. You open up your Word document. You click where you would like to put said picture. You go up here to paste with the down arrow and choose space, uh, special. And you're going to choose um, the Windows meta file or the enhanced meta file. I'd have to experiment again, but both work. I just did it a minute ago. And when you click on item, then your chart is there. You can text wrap it so you can move it just like any other JPEG. And your data doesn't get adjusted or deleted at that point. Awesome time with you folks. I hope you'll join me for the next video.